always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is an encouragement to praise God and say, thank God they dropped me. Welcome to your daily cup of inspiration podcast. My name is Deanna Hobbs. I am founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries. My team and I work so diligently to fuel your faith every single day so you'll grow stronger in the Lord and do what he has called you to do. Monday through Friday, you can hear these inspirations. They are available for download. Download on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and also DeannaHobbs.com. I am delighted that you have joined me again. There's something special that the Lord wants to share with us. Before we get started, you know, I want to pray really quickly. Come on, God. Thank you so much for the person listening today. We praise you that you are mindful of us and that you care about the issues related to our lives. So I pray that you speak a word in season for their situation and let them leave knowing that they have heard from you. And we thank you now in Jesus name. Amen. You know, it's easy to look at someone else's life and feel like they're so blessed, favored, prosperous, or far along, but it's not quite so easy to extract the details of their story unless they're willing to share them. That's why I am big on being transparent. I don't want anyone feeling like they aren't special, anointed, chosen, or favored just because things aren't working out the way they had hoped or planned or because progress is coming so slowly. It was almost 10 years ago when God first called me to begin blogging and publishing an online magazine. Empowering Everyday Women Online Magazine, which most know is simply EEW Magazine today, began really humbly. I remember when I was first trying to get some folks to help me out so I could get the vision going. I needed to get it off the ground and I didn't know anything about web publishing. It was very new. But when I'd reach out for assistance or support, People I thought would be interested in helping weren't. Some would even start out offering to lend a hand only to abandon me not too long after that. I remember one day feeling so discouraged and let down after a partnership I thought would materialize fell through. This person dropped me. No matter how much I expressed my need for their help and services, they weren't interested. I felt alone and abandoned in my calling. I even felt like, God, did I hear you? You know, there was already so much on my plate with other business ventures and EEW Magazine seemed like an added burden. But I remember when God laid it on my heart to begin doing some things myself. Now, that seemed like a tall order because I felt like the tasks that went along with running a web publication didn't fit my skill set. But God knew what I had in me, even though I didn't. So I got to work. And when I began working, I discovered new skills and realized how quickly I caught on to things because it was my calling. It wasn't right away. But eventually I learned to accept and even be thankful for those who dropped me and left me because if they hadn't, I wouldn't have been able to sustain the vision because I would not have developed the skill set necessary to do the multiple tasks necessary to own, manage and operate EEW. When I look at where I am today, I appreciate God so much for the rejection, the abandonment, sleepless nights, frustrated days, those late nights and early mornings, all the tears I cried. You know why? Because it pushed me into my blessing. I had to sow into that vision and it wasn't easy. A whole lot of days I wanted to walk away, but now I know being dropped was a blessing in disguise. This reminds me of a story of a man named Mephibosheth in 2 Samuel 9. I've talked about him before. At just five years old, this boy's father and grandfather were both killed in war. After hearing of the killing of the boy's relatives, Mephibosheth's nurse got so terrified, she took off running, and in her haste, she accidentally dropped Mephibosheth on the ground. He fell so hard, he was left crippled. Have you ever had a crippling fall? Your employer might have dropped you and eliminated your position, which crippled your finances. A loved one may have dropped you and walked away and temporarily crippled your emotional well-being. Your support system may have dropped you, left you to fend for yourself, and crippled your vision. Well, Mephibosheth was crippled as a result of being dropped, but God wasn't finished. Years later, he heard that a rich and powerful man, an old friend of his father's, wanted to show him kindness, and Mephibosheth 
disabled and forgotten, could hardly believe it. Guess who that rich and powerful man was who wanted to bless him? It was King David. You see, Mephibosheth was the son of Jonathan, David's former best friend. Mephibosheth was also the grandson of jealous King Saul, who once sought to take David's life. But the Bible says David remembered that he made a promise to God that he would show loyalty and kindness to Saul's family. That's when he was led to Mephibosheth. Isn't God amazing? Mephibosheth may have been left crippled after being dropped, but God had not forsaken him. And here's what I love. His name means dispeller of shame. To dispel, which is to make something disappear, is the perfect word to describe what God did for this man. The Lord erased, got rid of, and totally wiped away Mephibosheth's shame and replaced it with favor and blessings. Friend, God has got you listening to this podcast today to let you know that he's going to do the same thing for you. No matter what has happened to you as a result of being dropped, God is ushering you into a new season. Folks might have dropped you, but God didn't. In the Bible, David gave Mephibosheth the full inheritance of Saul and his family. This great harvest now belonged to that crippled boy. So no matter who dropped you and how they may have negatively impacted you, God's getting ready to bless you. Blessings are going to come looking for you, just like David. David looked for Mephibosheth to bless him. With or without a lot of money, education, connections, physical strength, or all the stuff the world says you need, the Lord's plan for your life will be fulfilled. Being dropped may have left you feeling broken, left behind, and shattered, but God's going to bless you beyond measure. In the meantime, thank God they dropped you. I know I'm thankful because had they not, I wouldn't have been in position to reap the harvest God had set aside for me. Here's something else. Mephibosheth was confined to a place called Lodabar, which in Hebrew means no pasture. There was no fruitfulness. It was a dry place, but God's favor changed all that. What should have been a desolate life became an abundant life. Perhaps you are in your own Lodabar, a dry place with no pasture, dropped, feeling crippled, stuck unproductive, but God is turning it around. They dropped you, but he's lifting you up. They hurt you, but he's healing you. They broke you, but he's putting you back together again. They tried to hold you back, but he's pushing you forward. They talked about you, but God is speaking up for you. They attacked you, but God is defending you. They did you wrong, but God is vindicating you. Thank God they dropped you so God could lift you up. Now let's pray. God, I pray for this, my sister, this, my brother. They may be in a desolate place as they listen right now. Perhaps things haven't been coming together for them, but I declare by faith that things are turning around. I thank you, God, that despite all the disadvantages of their situation, your favor is making them fruitful. God, help them to look at how you've been good to them and to appreciate you for staying when others left. Help them to stand firm, O God, in anticipation anticipation of the day they reap their harvest. It shall come. It will happen. We believe it and claim it and own it by faith. A harvest for them to reap is on the way. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast has been brought to you by Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we help fuel your faith every day. For more information, log on to www.deannahobbs.com.